Hello, everyone. My name is Akio Matsuka, and I am a co-author of the book, The Essential Guide to Digital Jewelry Design. This book has many jewelry design modeling examples using Rhino and Grasshopper. Today, I am showing you one of the exercises in a book, Sweep to Rail Earring in Rhino. Let's get started. We want this earring to stand up on a top construction plane, so we will create a geometry in the front viewport. We will use the arc center start angle command and center zero and create 270 degrees arc. The radius is 12 millimeter. Then another one, zero. This time it's a little larger, 16.5 millimeter. And then we will turn this arc to wavy shape. So turn on the control points. So control points looks like this at the moment. So we need to rebuild the curve. Rebuild curve. And we will rebuild 17 control points and degrees 3. In order to create the wavy shape, we will use scale 2D command. And select object to scale, we select us from the third point, every other point. Base point is 0. Then we need to create the thickness of this earring. So line command, line from the midpoint, and create a line from this arc. Do the same thing the other side of the arc. And use start and point on arc command and create an arc connecting these three points. Start, end, and point on arc. And then we are ready for sweep to rails. Surface tool, sweep to rail command, first rail, second rail, select sweep shapes, this, these are the cross sections and enter and move the seam in the mid middle of the cross section and make sure that arrows are pointing in the same direction otherwise surface will be twisted after the sweep then OK and then we will cap this uh, poly surface to create a um, closed poly surface here you go. We have a stone with a cutter. So this is grouped. So turn off the cutter layer and you see diamond and point on the top. So this setting is going to be a flat set. So where this point is, is going to be the contact point to the surface. So before we use this orient on surface command, I will create the points to this curve so that the, we will know exactly where we're going to uh, place this diamond. Divide command, divide curve by the number of segments, and we will divide to seven. Now we have these points. Then transform orient on surface command. It's called orient object on surface on a toolbar. And select the stone and grab this point. And we are looking for 
the points. So this setting, as I said, uh, it's a fresh set. So top of the um, the table of the diamond and surface and earring surface are fresh. This is how it looks like it. So since this is uh, grouped, what we need to do is whatever we group, do we need to ungroup before Boolean difference? I will select all the cutters and ungroup. So now it's ungrouped completely. Turn off the diamond layer. And then solid tools, Boolean difference and select the earring. Select the earring and then select the cutters. And when I turn off the cutter layer, turn off the points layer and turn the diamond back. And we have this diamond in a hole.